What accounts of our misconceptions of anger? Okay, misconceptions of anger can be accounted for in different ways. We fail to appreciate that anger is a God-given good with a natural function. Actually, a psychophysiological arousal, a responsiveness to do something in response to injury and the perpetrator of injury. The reasonable action decided upon is prompted primarily by concern for our own well-being and that of loved ones, generally consisting of an attempt to protect oneself from further injury or to seek restitution for wrong already inflicted to restore the order required for justice. Of course, the ultimate goal is reconciliation. Instead, some people misunderstand anger, malign anger, condemn anger, suppress or repress anger. Common misunderstandings of anger include claiming that an angry feeling is equivalent to losing control. Or he's, he's angry, so he's not controlled. Or that anger is evil. It's a sin. Oh my goodness, he's getting angry. That's sinful. Or, he's angry, he's immature. Or, ooh, anger, it's very destructive and it really hurts people's feelings, so we shouldn't have that happen. Or, anger is a privilege of authority figures. And after all, I mean, he's, he's not a bigwig, so he really doesn't have any right to feel angry about it. Or anger is an emotion that's simply unacceptable. It cannot be acceptable. In fact, it's not characteristic of civilized people to ever be angry. Or anger is for foolish people. Anger is for fools. Or anger is very disrespectful. Or anger is no excuse for not turning the other cheek. So you could see the list goes on. And I'm sure you could probably think of other things that you've heard people say about it. And as for the misconception that anger is equivalent to loss of control, anger is rarely so, when you really think about it. If it is, it's probably the result of repression, and often what we talk about as return of the repressed. That's why the anger is now out of control, because it's been pushed out of the realm of guidance of reason, will, and faith for so long that when it does pop out, it's not integrated, and so it comes out in an unfortunate way. Or that anger is the product of a psychopathic personality. The person just has trouble doing any rational guidance by reason and will of emotions. So, unfortunately, the person just really, quote-unquote, can't really help it because it's just not part of the way that his constitution was made. So, you can see that um, anger is certainly an emotion that um, has a lot of enemies and for the wrong reason. And we actually have to do what uh, one very uh, good and important helping professional said, which is make anger our ally.